Okay. So the reason there are three frisbees on the ground right here, yellow, pink, and blue, is because and at real lower coursing events, the dogs will wear yellow, pink, and blue jerseys okay. or silks. You know, they're all different kinds of materials. Um, it just allows the dogs and the judges to tell which dogs are do doing what on the field. For example, if you have three red-colored greyhounds, you're not going to be able to tell who's doing what, who's cheating, who's doing much better, who's following it with more enthusiasm. So the reason they have the three different jerseys on is for the judges to be able to tell from a far distance, you know, who's who. So you run through the time then? We do, yes. Okay. But you have to be, you know, this is practice. When you certify at ASFA, you just run with another dog, usually one that's already a courser, and it just shows that your dog is able to run with another one without interfering. Okay. Um, and once you get a certification, you're actually able to run immediately afterwards with, you know, other dogs. Okay. I would say just make sure your dog isn't too out of shape when we're coming to practice. Okay. They don't have to be very hard bodied and, you know, lean me fighting machines, but they really shouldn't be too flabby. Um, they really shouldn't be arthritic or old. We can, you know, we can take old dogs and have fun, pop the lead a few times, pop the lure a few times, let them sort of pounce on it, but they really should be in pretty good shape. Right. Um, and, you know, bring some water, bring a crate to bring them, bring something to cover the crate with. Because uh, lure coursing events can be six, eight hours long. Okay. Um, but it's a fun day in the sun. Uh, most of the time it goes very well, very safely. <laughs> So that was cheating. Coursing was originally designed as a safer alternative to open field coursing. Uh, open field coursing started out, um, dogs were running through barbed wire, they're hitting uh, rattlesnakes and all that. So they needed something that they could do countrywide that would be safer for the dogs. Um, because it's so safe, I mean, you can walk the field, uh, judges can inspect the field, check for holes. Um, we can make the turn safer, like nothing under 90 degrees. We can space out anything that is 90 degrees. Um, and Usually, as long as you have a good hunt master who's watching the dogs, uh, we can cut the line as quickly as possible. Uh, injuries are really minimized uh, with a good lure off and a good team running the lure. Um, and injuries do happen, but it's a very rare occurrence.